Good evening, Maria. Good evening, eh, Dalila. Ingrid. Good evening. Hello, good yeah. evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Let's wait a little bit because we're still missing like one minute more. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we start with the class. Let me tell, let me uh, know about what you have learned. What did you learn today, Maria? I learned the, the practice uh, use uh, um, use the in class in conversation. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That's what you learned. Okay, let us listen to Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Good evening. Hello, hello. Something new that you have learned in English? Hello, hello, Olga. Hello, Ingrid. Hello, Chrysia. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hey, tell me, what did you learn today in English? Oh, okay, I, I use <clears throat> just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. That's the expression yes. that you learn. Yes, that's my phrase. Wow, Thank how deeply. It's just a matter of time. Good. Good one, a good one. Gabriela, did you learn a new expression today? No, me? Repeat, please. Uh, did did you learn? Did you study something new in English? Mm. Yes. Really? Uh -huh, tell me. <laughs> Good evening, Cesar. Uh, I was listening music in, in English. Ah, you were listening to music in English. And you got yeah. the lyrics. Yes. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. did you learn the lyrics? Um, say again. Uh -huh. uh, did you learn the lyrics? ¿Se aprendió la letra de las canciones? Yes. Ah, ok. Do you want to sing a little bit? To sing a little bit? <laughs> um, me la pone difícil. Um, <laughs> digamos, um, um, no, no one. Um, no one's you like know. you. <laughs> Ah, okay. That I think Adele is the is the singer, right? Uh, I got you, and uh, no one's like you. Okay, don't worry because you're not you're not gonna sing today tonight. Cuando me la puedo bien, le voy a cantar un pedacito. Excellent. <laughs> That's what I want. What I want you to do, Cesar. Hey, Cesar, you having his uh, his snack? I don't know. Having some soft drink. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, it's a no. It's not. It's it not a not drink. It's not a tamarindo soft drink. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cesar, what's new? What did you learn in English? Mm. Today uh, I learned uh, two phrases. Which mm. ones? Um. The number one is. Uh, my mind on on your own business. My mind is my mind. Mind, mind in in your own business. My mind in your own business. No, mind on your own. Mm, ahí decía que significaba preocúpate de tus asuntos, algo así. Yeah, that's right. 
mind, mind your own business. Yes. Okay. Yes. The, the other one? Phrase, the, the second phrase is, is, it's up to you. It's up to you. To hey, you. Do, they're pretty good. I didn't, I didn't know that phrases. You didn't know about those phrases. The first yes. one is a little bit, a little bit tough, but the second one's uh, like it's up to you, right? So you decided. Okay, thank you, Sisa. That's a, that's awesome. Okay, somebody else who learned something new in English. No one. Olga. Me. Ah, uh, Wendy, Wendy. Okay, and uh, after Wendy, Olga. Okay. Okay. My for example for me today today is a new today is a new beginning. That's a that's a motivational quote, right? Today is a new beginning. Excellent, Wendy. Only that? Only that teacher. Only pretty good. Okay, Olga. Uh, not really okay so anybody in the group no one in the group at one no one in the group at two so we're gonna start with the class today then okay uh, hello carlos hello olga yes Um, when I was a child, um, <laughs> okay. when, when you were a child, you were curious. Uh, it's okay, uh, Juan Carlos. Don't worry because I will check list attendance just right now. I, I now thank for for remembering me that I need to check list attendance. Okay, now I will I will check it. Then tell me if you are over here, Alejandra Maria. Presente, teacher. Okay, Alejandra, so here, Aristides. Otoniel, Carlos David, present teacher, Cesar, present, Claudia Margarita, ah, Aristides, Aristides is present, okay, sí, perdón, sorry. perdón, present, okay, perdón, so, present. okay, Carlos David, present teacher, okay, Cesar Iván, present teacher, Claudia Margarita, I'm here teacher, okay, Concepción de Lourdes, Present teacher, teacher. Tell me. Um, voy a, a la farmacia un momento porque necesito que ir por un medicamento, así que voy a estar escuchando nada más. Okay, don't worry, okay? Mm -hmm. Gracias. So be careful, be careful, if you, especially you. if you're driving. Elena Marisol. Present teacher. Gabriela Noemi. Present teacher. Idalia. Eliana Janet. Idalia Janet. Ingrid Morena. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Crisia Morena. I'm here. Liliana. Teacher, I'm here. Who said I'm here? Ingrid Morena. Ileana Molina. Ileana, okay, Ileana Molina. Okay, Ileana. Now, Cristia Morena, Liliana Dolores. I am here. All right, Maria Magdalena. Present. Olga Lisset. Present, teacher. Rina Margarita. Present, teacher. And Wendy Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Wow, we got a hundred percent tonight. Good. Teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. 
No me mencionó Dalila. Oh, Dalila. Yeah, Dalila, Dalila Cristina. Yes, teacher. Okay, Dalila, I'm sorry, but now I already checked that. Do not worry. Everything's all right. Well, uh, I, I saw that you were that you were uh, sent a message about the midterm. Is that right? So actually, tomorrow at Willing, we're going to go over the midterm. I have people over here. Okay, I got it. Well, as always, we're going to go over the some information previously. And later, we're going to solve a couple of exercises. And uh, you see, um, we're going to try to create some examples. And um, well, we will see if we learn something new in English. Adjectives, evaluation with the adjectives and nouns. That's what we studied yesterday. We saw an, an exercise, comparison with adjectives and nouns was also part of the topic we studied yesterday. And uh, tonight, we're gonna go about expressing wishes and um, by using certain information, okay? So now tell me, I don't know, everybody has dreams, is that right? Everybody has goals, dreams, uh, mid-term uh, goals, short-term goals, and long-term goals. And uh, everybody, everybody loves to dream about the future or about the past. And that is something we're gonna learn uh, tonight. For example, well, I would say this in, in, in Spanish, Si usted pudiera regresar el, el, el tiempo y deseara cambiar algo, ¿qué cambiaría? We're going to use the verb. What is the verb? What, look at the chat. The verb, ¿cuál, ¿cuál es el verbo desear en inglés? Would like. Wish. Wish. Okay, we're gonna we're, good luck. Wish is the one that we're gonna start it tonight. Okay, I wish. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me something that you wish you didn't do in the past or you hadn't done in the past. Difficult. It's very difficult. I think about it, okay? Piensen en ello mientras desarrollamos el tema, porque al final nos van a contar pues, de, qué, de, qué, de qué va la cuestión, okay? Expressing wishes, okay, by using eh, wish is, and would, as somebody say, right? Okay, we're going to go very pay attention. We're going to start some exercises later. But now, uh, well, let me see. Let me see, I'm sorry, will interrupt. No, I haven't even shared information. I will try to do it now. No, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Listen and see the information. Later, we're going to practice, remember. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? 
It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Okay, now, now pay attention to this explanation, people. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation, if I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is, I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I. Then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again or it could be another person, right? I wish I and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't and then whatever compliment, right? didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form. So therefore, we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom. After which, where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult, and we want to express a wish, 
then we can say I wish and this subject again life where easier uh, and of course you can make that in a negative statement I wish life weren't so difficult but it's basically the same pattern that we're following in the last example my parents won't stop worrying about me well what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there so my parents won't stop worrying about me in that particular case I'm gonna turn want or will not into would right so I wish and in this case subject my parents would stop and then whatever compliment right what kind of wishes do you have about your life and as I mentioned at the beginning of class we want to express personal wishes we want to express family wishes we want to express health wishes we want to express professional wishes if you will so I'm just gonna have a series of wishes here right so what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom so an easy example I wish my bedroom were bigger what kind of wishes do you have about your school or job well I wish my job were easier what kind of wishes do you have about your appearance the way that you look well I wish I were thinner what kind of wishes do you have about your family I wish I had two children right and what kind of wishes do you have about your possessions well I don't have a car so I wish I had a car that's a, just a quick example uh, and what kind of wishes do you have about your skills I don't know how to program computers I wish I knew how to program computers and so on and so forth so I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of wishes that you have about yourself about your family about your health about your skills Where okay people now that you saw now that you saw the different ways to to talk about wishes okay mm, let us see i really like this this exercise because this exercise is about providing different wishes wishes sorry and also to yeah, use the different the different the different structures we studied in advance you can create, like, for example, a wish list. Va a crear una lista de deseos en donde van a incluir deseos acerca de su dormitorio. Hey, desearía que mi dormitorio fuese más grande. Okay, look, look for the way to say so in English and share it to me. Because they say, hey, I wish my room were bigger because... Uh, I share it with my sister or with my little brother or younger brother, and I consider the, the, the space is not enough. Okay? That may be one for the bedroom. Or, me gustaría que hubiesen un, un par de lámparas. O me gustaría que, bueno, ustedes dirán. Now, the other one is about school or job. School or job. Later, about appearance, okay? Later, wishes about family. Later, about position, and finally, about skills. <laughs> you know, bathroom, right? School or job, appearance, family, positions, or skills. So this is what you are gonna do now. I will give you like one, two, three, four, five, six or seven minutes. So we'll give you seven minutes 
for you to create your own list of wishes. But you are not going you are not only going to share the wishes by themselves like, hey, I wish my bedroom were bigger. No, no, no. You are you need to provide a further information, explanation about about why do you wish so? Any question? Estamos claros lo que vamos a hacer? Sí? Vuelvo a compartir. Ok. No solo van a escribir, <coughs> digamos, eh, la oración en sí. Como decir, por ejemplo, hey, desearía que mi cuarto o mi dormitorio fuese más grande. Ok, ahí está la oración, el deseo que usted tiene. Pero aparte de eso, yo quiero que le incluyamos por qué usted quiere un cuarto o un dormitorio más grande. Entonces yo les decía, eh, deseo un dormitorio más grande porque duermo con mi hermana, con mi, mi hermano pequeño, o, o pues mi esposo y yo ya tenemos un bebé y necesitamos un espacio un poco más grande. Bueno, necesito que usted nos explique por qué desea eso. ¿Ok? Voy a compartir nuevamente, let's see. Para que tomen ideas. Sorry. So, any question about it, people? Any any question, people, about it? No, teacher. Okay, you have seven minutes. Remember, seven minutes. More time. We need more time. You you will have ten minutes then. Ten. Well, whenever you want to participate, remember to raise your hand.
Okay, if you're ready, just let me know it. I will stop sharing this. Uh, do you still need some? In my case, one is missing. A uh, one is missing. Good, one. Christian. Okay, so I can see that you're still working. Okay, I will give you like two or three minutes more. Two or three minutes. Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh, Eliana is ready. Good. So. Yes, there... I think. <laughs> Okay, Eliana, I think it's, it's a good idea if we start now so that everybody can have the opportunity to, to share ideas. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first one is, I wish my bedroom has air conditioning because I just have a fan. <laughs> the second one is, I wish I have a schedule in my job because I'm working 20 for hours. And the third one is I wish I will increase my height and change my short appearance. The fourth one is I wish to be always near my family because we share happiness together. And then I wish I have more I wish I have more position positions because actually I have the basic ones. And the last one is I wish I will improve my skills on learning English language by the end of the year. Okay, okay, Eliana, thank you. Hey, at the end, we're going to have some review once again about the way we built up sentences to talk about wishes. I think it's really, really interesting. And well, I can see Eliana is like uh, having a great transition. She feels confident, which is something that I really appreciate when you participate to try to, try to feel comfortable and confident. You're not confident? Seguros y tranquilos al momento de, de compartir lo que han creado, okay? So, Second person, second participant. Raise your hand if you're ready. I'm ready. Teacher. Excellent, Cisa. Go ahead, Cisa. Um, I wish my bedroom <clears throat> had a bigger window because the head is our home in the noon. And I wish my job were closer so I, I would wake up later and eat my bre breakfast quietly. And I wish my appearance were more short. And I, I wish my family liked the horror movies so I could see the Pennywise in the living <clears throat> room. And I wish my possession were bigger. Mm, that way I could buy a car. And I wish my English skills were more fluid because that way I could speak with more confidence. You need more confidence? Actually, you're doing a great job, Cesar. Yes, I need more confidence. <laughs> no, but you're in the right track. You are doing your best. You're doing it quite good. Okay. Thank you Thank for sharing, Cesar and Ileana also. Both presentation have been great. Anybody else? Me, Coach Wendy. All right, Wendy, go ahead. Okay, I work in Pollo Indio in area telemarketing. I wish I had a new job because I have a two baby today. I I would like I would like I have more time for them. Only that teacher. Okay, thank you, Wendy. So those are your wishes and you provided also explanation about, about why you chose such info. Okay, anybody who wants to participate? It's quite interesting. Oh, now we have Carlos David after Carlos David, Olga. Yes. Um... 
en my case, eh, en, en my job, eh, I wish that, I wish that a world did a play to relax since this world did you use the stress, the stress level uh, all employees would be happy in a good mood to continue working and, and I wish my room had more spice but for nature uh, for it to look good. Um, I wish, wish that I never forget my skills and um, perfect them. Um, I do not wish any change in my appearance and family. Um, I want my possession to last a long time and be cheap when I buy them. Uh, only time, thank you. Okay, enough, enough. Okay, thank you very much. Now, who else wanted to participate? I think it was Italian, right? No? Ah, Olga, okay, Olga, go ahead. I think. Me pongo nerviosa. My room needs a pine house because... It's not longer look cool. The school where I work is waiting for remodel because it's the <laughs> project of this people like. The project? My, my family is waiting for vacation. They relax. My mother cooking. Uh, I think it's this. Pan de Maracuya. No sé cómo decirle pan de maracuyá. Maracuyá bread, maybe. Ah, uh, is the very good. Okay. That was it, Olga. Solo esta es. Okay, so hey, let us make a pose where I have some some exercises here that I would really appreciate we can complete them. Well, something that I need to tell you is about the necessity to see the way, the way we create what? Expressing a wish. If you express a wish in the present, you may say, I wish, plus subject, plus simple past, plus subjunctive. I wish today were Sunday, Sunday. Okay, uh, if if only if only today were Sunday, so that's another one, right? And but you need to you need to be aware about it. So if you use I wish. After I wish to come and, and get the subject, then a simple pass, a form, and the subject. I wish today were Sunday. Where? Okay. Let's see if we if we can see like uh, further information. And and actually, actually, I will share the link with you. I will share it so that you can study it by your own later. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it. <clears throat> okay, so another here, like 
if you know, hey, this is what I want you to be aware of. Eso sí me, me interesa muchísimo que, que lo pongan en práctica y que no se les olvide. I wish I had more free time yesterday. ¿Por qué creen que subrayé los dos? Pay attention to the second one. I wish I could have gone to the concert. I could have gone to the concert. Now look at the next. I wish I knew what you do. I knew. No one else uh, helped this person, but I wish I, I, I knew what to do. If only I had more money last year, I wish I had studied harder for the exam. I wish I could have seen that movie. And I wish I had uh, taken a different route. If only I had listened to my parents. Mm. Now, questions about this part? In the past, you have, I wish I had. I wish I could. I wished I knew. If only I had. I wish I had studied. I wish I could have seen that movie. And I wish I had taken a different route. If only uh, I had listening to my parents. Okay. This is, this is simple about how, how to use or how to express a wish in English. I wish, I wish, plus subject plus plus perfect, right? I wish she had done homework. I wish she had not told it lies. But she did in the first one. And in the second one, but she didn't. I wish. Let's see, because we need to see uh, what's What's going on with this topic? Now, there are two things that you have to bear in mind. When the original sentence's reality is affirmative, you must change it to the negative form and vice versa. In the second one, when the original sentence is in the present, go back to the past, and if it is in the past, go Past perfect, always one step by path. Example, uh, with no, without, I mean, wish about the present. I am here. I wish I were not here. I am not rich. I wish I were rich. Look, look to the counterpart, okay? He smokes, I wish, or if only, which is an expression that I already told you, if only he didn't smoke, if only it, it worked, etc. There are also wishes for the past, and we, that's what we did in, in a couple of minutes. So, I hope tomorrow will be sunny. I wish I would have enough money to buy a house. I like to travel to Europe next week, next year, sorry. I wish I will be happy in the future. I hope I will find a job soon, et cetera. So we have a lot of sentences that we can create around speech. I will stop sharing. I already said that, that the topic, right? The link. Did I share this link? It's there, right? Anyways, I will share it once again. So here, we have wishes for the present, wishes for the past, and look, and look, 
wishes about the future. So look at the way we use uh, future for purposes. I hope tomorrow we'll be hungry. I wish I would have enough money to buy a house. I'd like to try to Europe next year. I wish I will be happy in the future. I hope I will find a job, a good job soon. So we have more of here. Look at the example. We look at the example. It says here, usually hope is used instead of I wish to talk about the future. Now, any question? Any question, people? How was the topic tonight? Yo tengo una pregunta, si Tell me, Wendy. Pregunta, no sé cómo decírsela en inglés. Okay, en, go ahead. ¿Dónde podemos utilizar wishes? Porque ahí vi en, el, en, la, en la página que había puesto que decía wishes. Okay, that is, that is optional, right? Cuando usted dice wish, literalmente significa deseo. Yo deseo, yo desearía. Pero, pero cuando utiliza expresiones como hope, uh, entonces ahí cambia, ¿verdad? Yo esperaría o yo espero. Let me see. Uh, for example, let me see. So we have wishes so here, right? Conditional wish if only. Hay condicionales en donde se puede utilizar wish, pero la pregunta, ¿no? Wish and hope, por ejemplo. Aquí tenemos también esta que es if only. If only es otra. Y cuando vemos eh, if only, well, oh, you, there is a lot of information about it so that you can practice. Um, Let us try it a little bit with this exercise. Creo que con este ejercicio la vamos a lograr. Hey, I don't have a car. Hey, no tengo un vehículo. ¿Cómo escriben el deseo para esa frase? I wish have a car. I wish have a car. I wish have a car. I wish I have a car. I wish I had a car. I wish, fíjense que algunos yo los oigo, no sé si yo me estoy equivocando, wish. pero algunos le están poniendo I wish I have. I wish I have. I wish I have. Pero acuérdense que cuando ocupamos esta frase, I wish I had, tiene que pasar el verbo pasado. Al. I wish I had a car. Hey, pero no es solo esta. Si ustedes se recuerdan, hay otras maneras de desear eh, o de, de, de expresar deseos. Let's see. I wish they had a car. Okay, it's the same. I wish I had a car. It's the same as I wish that I had a car. No questions about it? No questions. Uh, look at this one. I can't play the piano. Well, I will share this because, you know, time is it's been not enough tonight. But I want you to, I want you to keep like. I wish. Uh-huh. Give me a second, because I want you to 
solve this exercise. And I think it's it's almost time to finish. Right? I wish I had mm -hmm. played the piano. No, played the I piano. I wish I could play the piano. Porque en ese caso utilizaríamos el pasado de quién. Quién could. Okay. Okay. Shall, should. Will, would. I wish. I wish. I call. Así. No. Called. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Play the piano. Play the piano. Good. So, but listen, it's because the time is going to be over. I'm going to share this link also, so that you can practice a little bit. Okay. Okay. There you are. So that you can practice. Bueno, vamos a pasar lista y vamos a tratar de ir cerrando. Alejandra. Aristides. Salud, David. Present. Present. Cesar Iván. Aristides, present. Okay, Aristide, thank you. Present teacher. Cesar. Present. Okay, Cesar, Claudia. Present teacher. Concepción. I'm here. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena. Gabriela Nomi. Present teacher. Idalia. Present. Janet Present Ingrid Morena Present Ingrid Morena Good Juan Carlos López Kenia Morena Cristia Oh, oh, sorry, Crisia, Crisia Morena. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, Crisia. Eh, Liliana Dolores. Present. Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Present teacher. Margarita. I hear. And Gwendy. Okay. So, well, actually, that's everything for tonight. Present teacher. Okay, who said present? Well, actually, actually, they, uh, all of you got into the class tonight. So congratulations. And I hope tomorrow it will be the same, right? So we're going to stop over here. Vamos a detenernos acá. Recuérdense que el día de mañana tienen su midterm. Para hacer el midterm hay que hacer un repaso general de lo que se ha venido estudiando. Okay, so any questions? No? So we're going to stop over here. So let us see tomorrow. God willing. Hey, you know, God willing. ¿Saben qué significa God willing? No. Si Dios permite, okay, God willing. We're going to see each other once again tomorrow. Uh, have a good night and see you tomorrow, people. Thank you. Hey, good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.